Well, remember when we went to write this plan, the first thing you always do is set out principles. And the first principle is you wanted it to be fair. You wanted to close loopholes. Uh, you wanted it to be pro-growth, and you wanted to make America competitive around the world. So it wasn't to write 50 individual plans for each state. It was to be fair across the nation. So if we write a plan that's fair across the nation, you write one tax code. Uh, unfortunately, when you have states such as California, which I come through uh, from, and also New York, they want to raise their taxes with the argument that let's let other Americans across the country pay for that, in essence, giving you a loophole. Um, if you write a fair plan, I think that principle plays with everywhere else. And when you look at the end of the day of what we did on our plan, by doubling the deduction, the number of individuals who actually itemized, it will not touch everybody in that state. It's probably a few. And we're not done crafting what that means. I know the acronym is SALT, SALT the state and local tax. But there's a way, I think, when you look at what Kevin Brady does at the end of the day, the majority of all those individuals in the state will actually have a tax cut. But it will also change the policies. In California, they continue to raise taxes to build a train to nowhere. They waste money throughout. And they do that based upon taking a loophole in a tax uh, basis across America, making it unfair for the rest of Americans to pay for their mismanagement of their own state. Uh, Leader McCarthy, Jonathan Swan, um, that all sounds good, uh, but you're a very sharp political strategist. You know that 12 of the most of the 32 most competitive Republican House districts are in those four blue states. Uh, you know the Democratic path to a majority runs through those four blue states. You know a lot of your members are worried about this. How worried are you about the political fallout uh, from including the state and local deduction? Well, I, I, Jonathan, I know we, we make policy in the world of politics. It could be the very best policy, but do you have enough votes to go through? That's my what question. I, what, <laughs> what, I tr what I truly believe here is you have to take the totality, the, the total part of the tax cut, of the tax cut of bill that goes forward. So if you're going to look at and argue to save one loophole, um, that becomes a real problem. So at, that's why we had last week, we didn't have votes during the day. We sat back. We took five hours walking every individual through. And before individuals jump to conclusions, never say what you will not do. Look at the bill in the entirety of the bill and talk up to your constituents about it. But yes, this is going to be an area that I think we're going to have to work through as we go. And Kevin Brady is not done in the crafting of this area. So I believe at the end of the day, people will like what happens coming out of ways and means. Everybody, the leader, should read that piece in the journal if you haven't seen it, because you're going to put the Democrats in the, in the uh, position of arguing for people that itemize their taxes. I mean, the people that are getting hurt by losing the state deductions are, are all five top 10 percenters, almost all of them. Anybody who, it's only people who itemize. So the people that we're, we're really crying about here, that it's not fair, they're not the people that were, they're trying to help in the first place, really, right? Well, they'll, be, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be arguing, yes, for the highest income. They'll be arguing for a loophole. And they'll be arguing for the rest of America to subsidize California and New York's expending policies uh, right. around the country. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.